Malcolm, just your thoughts. What was it like to see this degree of violence and hate on the campus that you called home for so long? Uh, honestly, for me, it was it was pretty shocking to see this happen in a place that, uh, you know, I call home is sort of jarring for me. Um, but, you know, if, if I were to be honest, uh, you know, the, the level of hate and, and blatant racism that still dominates the minds of so many Americans today, um, you know, it's, it's not shocking to me. Um, and, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, you have to call it what it is. I think this is white supremacy, and I think it's domestic terrorism. I think we're, we live in a country where we, you know, go overseas and we fight other people's wars and, um, you know, we fight terrorism overseas internationally. But we don't want to, uh, you know, fully acknowledge the terrorism that goes home domestically. So, um, you know, I think it's I think it's a shocking event, but uh, you know, it's it's not surprising, you know, sort of the 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 hate that is still around. Of course, I mean, you saw this Robert E. Lee statue. What were your thoughts about it then, and what are your thoughts about it now? Uh, my thoughts about it have never changed. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a person that that thinks. Things should not be glorified that that did not do the country any justice. For example, these statues, I think they they stand still, but all they do is divide people. At this point in time, I think America needs to be um, unified, and the statues are clearly something that's not unifying people. Um, it's going to continue to create a divide within within our communities, and um, you know I think they have no place uh, they have no place in our society right now. Recently, LeBron James has called for unity for those who, you know, believe in, in love of the, the fellow people of the country and beyond. How do you feel he has used his voice of late? I think he's been brilliant. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people have, have shunned him and told him to sit down. He's an athlete and stay in that box. But I think when you have a platform like LeBron, um, it's your duty to speak up. It's your duty to do the right thing. And I think he's been terrific. I think he's been... Um, you know, I think he's been articulate in the way he's spoken, and he's been, uh, you know, truthful. I don't think he's he's tried to shy away from being truthful and, and making sure that people hear his voice, and I, I think he's done an awesome job. Considering how much things have escalated just in the past week or so, do you feel like we're going to see more NBA players using the games themselves as platforms to make statements or have their own sort of uh, silent or nonviolent protests? You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I do hope so. Um, you know, I see guys like Colin Kaepernick in the NFL, um, guys like um, Marshawn Lynch, they're sitting down, they're making statements, they're, they're standing up for what they believe in, and I think it's terrific. I think we need more athletes like that, that have platforms, that have stages, that are willing to um, make sacrifices to to see that our, our country improves as a whole. Would you be willing to take a knee like Kaepernick? Is that something that you would want to do this season? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I think everybody has different methods um, in which they're going to protest. But for me right now, it's, it's coming on shows like this and speaking the truth and um, you know, I feel like that's the right thing to do. So that's what I want to do. And um, as for the future, uh, I don't know what it holds, but I, I, I do see the, I do see how Colin Kaepernick and Marshawn Lynch, I, I, I support them standing up for their beliefs and, and uh, you know, civil rights. When people say athletes should, quote unquote, stick to sports, what does that mean to you? Uh, I think it's I think it's extremely offensive. Uh, I think it puts us in a bubble. I think it, uh, you know, simply implies that uh, because we're athletes, we don't have a say or we don't have a opinion or we don't have the the educational background to comment on things outside of sports. I think it's I think it's uh, I I just think it's absurd. So um, I, I encourage all athletes to speak out if they're comfortable to do it. And, um, you know, I think it's our duty. I don't, I don't think it's something we, we really have a choice to do. I think it's our duty if you have the platform, if, uh, you know, you're comfortable enough, you should speak out. It's, it's the morally right thing to do.